Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. I got the 42 and old go getter out here Memorial Day weekend. I uh, want to wish all my viewers a happy Memorial Day. God bless the red, white, and blue. Okay, uh, out here at the speed run spot, got a little chop, a little chop. We're gonna have some fun. I just put the 1520 kV TP power motor in here, 400 amp flyer, and some 5200 uh, DV Extreme SMC packs. Let's Yep, we're going to pull this ESC out sometime this week, probably toward the end of the week. And we're going to switch this ESC with the XLX2. I'm going to try to come out here and do a few high speed runs and some nicer weather. And I want to switch the Flyer 400 out for the XLX2 and just see the difference, you know? Because the XLX2 is capable of 400 plus. This one's 400 plus bursts. So be an interesting comparison, you know? Uh, the one nice thing about this is that it'll run, what, 16S, you know, some lower KV motors that don't pull a whole bunch of amps you can throw on this thing and, and have you a, a, a solid setup. It's too rough to hit speed. getting some power cuts here you guys so it wasn't my 1400 kv cm motor that was giving me that sputter it wasn't the fuel i was using either so it's something to do with the esc electrical maybe i'll check and maybe even switch out a receiver clean my uh, rx wires got could have got some salt on them see what it's doing it's sputtering and this is a fairly new motor i've only run it about a dozen times you know yeah, it's sputtering right now. It's not like a power cut, it's a sputter, like something's coming loose. And uh, I mean, it, I, it didn't do it with the, um, with the Delta Force 29 the other day when I was running these RX LiPos, you know, lithium ion packs, it didn't sputter. So it's something to do with the ESE or my connection. Full trigger. See what it's doing? So whenever I uh, messed up that rotor on that TPCM motor, I could have uh, I could have actually messed up the um, the ESC. You know, that's a that's a pretty good possibility. All right, we're gonna do one more pass. I'm gonna bring it in and uh, see what I can, like, just look at the wires. See what it's doing? You see that? All right. I'm pretty sure I got everything tuned in right on the on the uh, card. I got my timing at, at five. This is a Y-wind motor. <sighs> Maybe, uh, I, don't, I don't think it's a power cut cut. It would cut for longer. You know, that's like a damn sputter. 114, 108, 102, 128, back of the motor, 132, 127. Temps are pretty good. All right. So I actually put another battery in. I don't think that's what it is. I think something's going on with the ESC. I, uh, I checked this, this right here. I made sure it didn't have any corrosion in it. Everything looked good on the receiver. I just made sure everything was plugged in. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Boat. Oh, it was on eight uh, six S, so maybe that's what it is. 
it was set up on 6S. Okay, start up. All the... All right, so I got it sent. Let's test that out. Let's see how that does. So I found that it had a 6S. It, the LiPo cell count was set for 6S, not auto, not 8S, not 12S. It was set for 6S. So I'm just going to throw it in without taping it up real quick, see what happens here. Okay, that might have been it. All right, let's get some tape on it. That might have been it. All right. Let's hope not. Oh, that's what it was, nice. I also put my low voltage cutoff to uh, 2.8. I didn't go down to two, I just put it on 2.8. I doubt we'll draw it down to 2.8. Each ESC has its own you know, characteristics, what it likes to do and how it's set up and programmed. Pull trigger. Oh, it was floating. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in. I don't wanna discharge these batteries. These are some good batteries. They don't make them no more either. They're light too. Nice. Yep, I never lifted on that last one. <laughs> I never lifted on that last one. Let's check the speed. With a discharged battery. Stop. Read. 79. I had somehow managed to uh, program 6S instead of 8S. I don't know what that does to the ESC. I'm, I'm sure it, it, it makes it only pick up six cells, but with an eight cell setup, I, I don't really know if that messes up the speed control or what, you know? All right, stuff at 287, 114, 123, 103, 117, 116, 113, nice. Uh, this is the batteries I was using, the 5200s. I think they're 135C if I'm not mistaken, they're old D. DV Extremes from SMC 79. I just showed you a quick clip because I had some glare or sweat water on my lens and my camera. I apologize. So hopefully you guys had a good Memorial Day weekend. I think I figured out the problem. I had uh, my voltage cell, like auto, you, you know, they have auto cell count. I had it set for 6S somehow. I, I, don't, I don't know how I did that unless whenever I was saving it last time, I accidentally mashed the button twice or something I, I don't know but I, I got it set for auto uh, so now now it should it should be good for our next run we're gonna um yeah we're gonna put the big SRD packs in next time and try for 90 we'll see you next time